Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you products that I recently got both at Ulta and Sephora and giving you my first impressions on a bunch of them. Most of the products I've been able to try at least a few times so I can give you my initial thoughts on them. Uh, if I really love them, then I've been using them a ton. I know there's at least one thing that I definitely don't like and a few others that I still need to try out. But I thought I would show you everything anyways. So now the real question is, which one first, the bag or the box, Ulta or Sephora? Hmm, let's do Ulta. I did save as many of the boxes as I can. Some of them definitely got lost to the trash, unfortunately, but this one is the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Samantha. I love these so much, but I had never tried, I don't think I ever tried the shade Samantha before. So this is what it looks like. It's just a really nice pale pink. It's a bit of a warmer pink, but it definitely doesn't get into peach territory, I don't feel. It's just a really great everyday color that goes with every single look. So I've been absolutely loving this. I love the plumping sensation of these. It just makes your lips feel fuller. Another reason that I love this and I feel like I just always have it in my purse is because it's a perfect color to just swipe on. I don't feel like I need another lipstick underneath it. It shows up enough on its own. It's not quite as opaque as like the NYX Butter Glosses, for example. It has a little bit of sheerness to it, so it looks a bit lighter on the lips, but definitely enough color to where you can just wear this by itself. So I really love this. So this next one definitely became a quick favorite. As soon as I used it, I fell in love with it. This is the Too Faced Diamond Light Multi-Use Diamond Fire Highlighter. I wonder why they say multi-use. I don't know, but I love the packaging on this. It is so special and adorable. It really went with the diamond theme. The actual highlighter is in a little ring box. Hold that thought. And the product inside is a little faceted diamond. It looks gorgeous and it has swirls of blue and pink and green in there and it just looks like an opal and that's kind of what it looks like on your cheeks when you swirl all the colors together. So I am wearing this today. I have another one right at the very top wrapped around my eye just to brighten everything up but I have been obsessed with this highlighter. When I first got this I thought it was going to be a little bit more iridescent and if you pile it on it does tend to look a little pinky purpley bluish but not in a festival way like you can totally pile it on and then add your bronzer and blush on top and it just tones it down and it just looks like a beautiful opalescent diamondy highlight i feel like this is still totally wearable for every day i have been wearing it every single day and i don't feel like it reads like you can kind of tell that it has a little color to it but i don't feel like it reads as a tinted highlighter per se it's just a beautiful product it's beautiful to look at and the packaging makes it fun to use. I do have a couple blushes here that I honestly have not tried out yet, so I will be letting you guys know my thoughts on these. But this one is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Powder Blush in the shade Pretty in Pink. I've been getting back into wearing blushes. I don't know, I've just been liking the look of them more recently and just adding a bit more color to your face. So this is just a really pretty soft pink. Actually, when I swatched this in the store, it was very, very light, and I almost thought, mm, is this worth getting? But I kind of like the fact that it was just that soft, again, I want to say sort of a petal pink, something that you wouldn't necessarily have to worry about coming across too pigmented on the cheeks, just something very like innocent and sweet looking. I also love the fact that when you touch this, it is like touching pure velvet. It is so, so soft. So I'm really looking forward to kind of working with this formula and just wearing blush again in general. And then more towards the warmer, peachier end of the spectrum, I got this Anastasia Blush Trio in the shade Peachy Love. So at first glance, these might seem like they're a little bit more electric and a bit brighter than the colors that I typically go for for my blush, but this one here actually blends down to a really nice soft cantaloupe color. This one sort of softens to a pretty coral, and then this one here is just a really nice everyday sort of peachy nude color, so I feel like you have a lot of options in here, and it'll be a really great summertime blush trio. So this next product will be returned. I am not a fan of this. I don't know if it's me or if it's the product. Either way, it just did not work out. But this is the Lorac Tantalizer Body Bronzing Luminizer. So I used to have an old tube of this and I used to love this. And it was different packaging when I used it. So I don't know if I'm just remembering the product wrong or if they did change the formula when they changed the packaging. But when I tried this one, it was just way more orange than I remember it being. I feel like if you have more of an olive or a deeper skin tone, this might just give you a nice warm all over glow. But for me, it just looked orange. And I do really love the, I actually have it right here, <laughs> the Hula 
Zero Tan Lines, the Believable All Over Body Bronzer. This is really, really good. It blends out perfectly, and the color is very natural, even if it kind of looks a little weird at the beginning. I promise it looks very natural towards the end. So I don't feel like I need both of them, and this one, for being such a small tube and for the price tag, I just don't feel like and just for the weird color that it is, I don't feel like it's worth it. So I'm going to be returning this. And then I saw these and I thought, do I really need another one of these? Do I really? Do I really need any of this stuff? No. <laughs> but these are just so pretty. When I looked at them, they made me smile. They made me happy and sad. So that's when you know. These are the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. And they are in two of the most mermaid-esque amazing shades so this one is sea siren and it's such a pretty iridescent pink with some like icy blue sparkle to it it is absolutely gorgeous and then this one is into the blue this one has both purple and blue sparkle and there's even some like turquoise picking up in there it's just like a sea stone like a sea gem i absolutely love these i want to wear them alone or layer them up or just apply them all over my body. I'm just a sucker for these little steel glitters. They're just so easy to apply. They stay on your face and they look so multi-dimensional and beautiful. So I am sort of collecting them at this point. <laughs> and now for my Sephora purchases. So this one is an intriguing little product. I just tried this out for the first time today. So this is the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. I just love the look of this. I love the packaging and I just felt like I was so curious about this. I had to try it. At first I thought it was going to be more of a balmy type of product because honestly it looks exactly like a lip balm but it is this blue color. It's actually not supposed to be so much of an under eye corrector like a color corrector. When you apply it you don't see this blue color at all. In in fact, it says you're supposed to apply it underneath your color correctors and your concealers. So, my thoughts. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I am definitely very interested to continue to try this. I never thought that it was going to be some huge, crazy difference. I feel like something like this is going to be more of a subtle effect that it gives you. I like the feel of it. It's a very plush, soft feel. It's not greasy or balmy whatsoever. It goes on really nice onto the skin. And honestly, I do feel like it gave a bit of a plumping, I want to say a bit of a plumping effect underneath my under eye and some radiance there. It's kind of odd though. This eye looked great. Super happy with it. I was sold if it was just based on this eye. This one I had some like weird creases that I couldn't really tap out. I don't know. I've been playing around with some other new products and powders and concealers so it could have been those things. Probably not the best idea to test like all new stuff together. So I want to keep using this. I like the feel of it. My initial reactions are positive ish i'm gonna keep you posted on this i just think it's a very interesting product it's an interesting color it's just interesting so this next product i have been really really loving you can tell because the actual packaging is so dirty <laughs> this is the hourglass vanish flash highlighting stick and the shade that i got is champagne flash so this is the lightest, I believe the lightest shade, and it is just a very light golden, like peachy champagne color, but it is definitely brighter. It doesn't give off a super golden vibe, which I like. That's what I was going for. I do love the convenience of it being in a stick, and I do absolutely love this. I've been wearing this every single day for a while now, maybe like a week and a half or so, and it's great. I layered it underneath my Too Faced highlighter today, and the one thing that I thought I wasn't going to like about it is the fact that it doesn't have that like soft glide onto the cheeks even though I do apply it straight onto my concealer I don't apply it over powder or anything unless I forget in which case it actually does work over top pretty well not something you typically want to do but hey it happens at first I felt like it had a bit of a drag like it didn't have that like soft glide to it but I guess maybe if they made it too soft of a product it would melt in the stick and even though I feel like it is sort of like sticking as you go to apply it when I look in the mirror, it looks absolutely beautiful, and I just blend it in with my Beauty Blender, and it's totally fine. So it feels like it's going to look weird or something, but it doesn't. It's so, so gorgeous. It just gives you a nice, like, brighter reflection, very natural. You could wear this with full glam or a lighter face, lighter makeup if you want to. I also got the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. This is the Universal Lip Luminizer. I accidentally ordered two. I was really hoping I was going to like it, and it turns out that I absolutely 
absolutely love this. I guess the shade is called a Fenty Glow, but it is a universal color. I was a little worried about it. First of all, look at this packaging. It's just so chunky and pretty looking. I love it. And I don't have anything that looks like this. So at first I thought the color might be a bit too deep for like my everyday preferred shade. When you swipe it on, it just gives you this amazing like dewy, juicy lip, a pretty, pretty glossy nude. This would be the perfect lip gloss to just, again, carry with you, apply whenever. You don't have to think about it. Also, when you're doing a really radiant or dewy look to the face, this would be a perfect complement to that. And girl, the smell of this, it's a specific candy. T tell me down below, is it like the watermelon gummies, sour gummies? It smells amazing. I'm so glad that I ordered two by accident because I'll be using them both up. The next product is a glitter palette. And this is by Makeup Forever. It's a starlit glitter palette. I love the packaging on this. It's a nice, like, sleek type of packaging, but it has some weight to it, so it does feel like the glitter pans are protected. You get a nice big mirror, and the actual pans themselves are fairly large. I've been playing around with them a little bit. I am actually wearing this one today. This one is called Spark on my lid, but I applied it just with my fingers super softly. This was probably the one shadow out of the whole palette I was like it could be a little bit more intense the rest of them have that beautiful like tiny micro sparkle and then they just sparkle like diamonds this one is pretty but it doesn't give off that same like you know what I mean but I do love this because the bronze and the rose gold are really useful colors that you could use all the time to just add a little bit a sparkle to your look and then these two purples are actually really beautiful too typically I would think mm, how often am I really going to use those? But they're actually very unique colors. They have some really, these have a really pretty multi-dimensional look to them. I feel like I've been sneaking in a bit more color into my looks lately. And this is a really good way to do it because you get the color and you get the sparkle with it as well. So I would definitely say this is a new fave. I'm loving this one. So this next product is sort of interesting. It's a little like odd little beauty tool. And when I got this, honestly, I thought, why did I get that? <laughs> Again, do I really need that? But I just thought, it's such a weird little thing. Like, do I need this? But I used it today, and I actually kind of love it. This is the Sephora Refresh and Prep Lip Scrubber. So it's a little silicone tool like this. The one side has, like, the teeny tiniest little silicone nubby teeth on it, and the other side have, like, bigger, kind of bumpier bumps on it and I guess so th what I did today was I used it with this wet n wild perfect pout lip scrub by the way watermelony amazingness this is so good and I used the smaller teeth to kind of get in there and exfoliate my lips and then when I applied my lip balm I flipped it over to the bigger side and I used that to massage the lip balm into my lips and it actually really got the blood flowing and they looked very very smoothed out and just a bit bigger and plumped up so I really love that now obviously that effect is not gonna last all day but I just like this it was kind of enjoyable to use so initially I thought I was just gonna regret getting this but now I think it's kind of fun and I think I kind of love it so again that is a Sephora refresh and prep lip scrubber so next up is a product I'm still sort of on the fence about this is the drunk elephant virgin marula luxury facial oil and this is supposed to so it says the only ingredient in this is Sclerocaria <laughs> berea seed oil. I've heard so many things about this, so many great things, and I've seen really good reviews, I believe, on the website. I think this has really good reviews. This is expensive, so this was a splurge item for me, make no mistake. I was like, eh, should I get this? But I got it, and I think I just have to keep using it, to be honest, because I definitely was not initially in love with it. Um, I would sort of mix it in with my moisturizer at night and apply it at night. I was sort of hoping to wake up to a very refreshed kind of just new face, I guess. <laughs> it is definitely a very, very rich oil. So you know, like you're putting something on your face when you use this. At first when I was applying it, I was like, ooh, this feels like something, you know? This really feels good when I applied it. But then I woke up the next morning and I just felt like it, it kind of looked the same. Now, I will say that with the caveat of I have a child the size of a sweet potato growing in my belly right now. My skin is out of whack to say the least like just doing things that has never done before it's acting a little crazy so it never really looks that great when I wake up in the morning honestly I look pretty scary when I wake up in the morning I'm just 
I'm puffy, I'm red, I have little red bumps all over my face every time I wake up. It's really awesome. So I am going to keep using this and giving it a shot because I just feel like if so many people love this, maybe I should love it too. But at the same time, you know, if it doesn't work for me, then it just doesn't and that's okay too. So I will keep you guys posted on that. I definitely will do an updated disappointing products video if unfortunately some of these products end up falling into that category. <laughs> this next product I saved for last because I did want to do sort of a live demo on camera because I have not tried this yet. I've seen so many people try this and their reactions and their videos alone made me order this product and buy it for myself. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So it says this is an ultra translucent refreshing powder that dusts on like a mist and sets makeup to help extend wear. It's a weightless powder. Uh, da, 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 formulated with 50% water. Am I wrong? Am I making this up? Did I dream this? I feel like MAC came out with something similar to this like many many moons ago, years ago. A powder that kind of felt like water on your skin. I mean I don't know, maybe they still have it. I don't think they do though. So this is what the powder looks like. Really pretty packaging. It's just a very light, soft pink color. Ooh, why am I nervous? All right, we're gonna give it a shot. It's really, really dusty. Saging the room with this. Like it's really going everywhere into the air. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so it definitely gets everywhere. Um, but whoa, 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 holy crap! Feels like I'm applying like a gel moisturizer to my face. I went in with a lot more powder that time, and it feels so weird. <laughs> oh my god! Ugh. It feels like it's wrong, but it's right at the same time. Like I'm applying something wet to my face. I probably applied way too much, by the way, because I'm just slathering it on because I'm so, so fascinated. Like, my face feels super cool and refreshed. I don't know. I kind of like it. I, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's hard to tell because I applied so much of it. Yeah, I like it. And I applied a lot of it. I think even with a little setting spray, that would sort of, you know, melt it in. So again, I do want to try this out when it's the only powder that I'm wearing and I'm not layering a ton of it over top of my existing powder, but it is definitely a really cool feeling. I mean, you guys saw my face. I was bewildered by this and it did feel really nice and cooling on the skin. So maybe this would be a good summertime product. Again, I want to test it out further, but so far, so good. Okay, guys, so that is it for this haul slash first impressions on some products. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, hearing about some of the hits and misses in my little universe lately. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave and hit the little bell button so that you always receive a notification when I post a new video so you never miss any content from me. And I think that is it. That is all I have for you today. I hope you're having an amazing day. And I love you guys so much, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!